How's it going everybody? My name is Eric and in this video I'm going to show you how to fix or like how to assemble the switch mechanism, the scissor switch underneath the keyboard on a MacBook Air. This was a specific request from Get A God on YouTube on my video that I show step by step how to clean and how to fix the keyboard if you like spilt something on it. That actually is a super important video and if you haven't already watched that I will put a link to it in the corner as well as the description. That video goes into so much detail of how to like take off the keys and then clean them on your MacBook Air and it will work with some MacBook Pro models. But if you were working on that and you didn't do something right there's probably probably a chance that you broke the switch mechanism and that's why you're watching this video. Hopefully this will help your understanding of how to take it off, how to put it back on, and how to assemble it if for some reason you separated the two plastic pieces. They orient different ways and it can be kind of frustrating and annoying if you don't know what you're doing. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already, subscribe to the channel, consider subscribing, and let's get into the keyboard repair on the MacBook Air. So here we have our complete switch. I can lift up on the top of the switch and it's scissors. And I can also lift up on the bottom middle part and it'll scissor as well. It's anchored down to four points on the keyboard. There's four pieces of metal as you'll see when I take it off. And it's also got a hinge in the middle that holds the two pieces of plastic together. This is how it's supposed to be. And to remove this, I'm going to take my flathead screwdriver on the inner piece of plastic. I'm gonna pull that direction towards the screen a little bit, and then I'm gonna lift at the same time, and it's going to release from two hooks right there, and then you can pull that off just like that. If you pull it towards you, the, the two bottom hooks will release. This is what the switch looks like outside of the keyboard. The screen side is on the top and then the trackpad side is down here in the orientation of how it goes. So if you got it out and you don't know like which way it goes, it got mixed up, you can orient it based off of this little ridge right here. You want that ridge to be on the bottom and this side with these two little arms will be on the screen side uh, and then these these two little holes will be on the trackpad side so this is specific to this model of keyboard and laptop so if your switch doesn't look like this this is not going to be applicable to you now to reinstall this into the keyboard putting it back into the keyboards pretty easy once you get it oriented correctly there's two bottom metal hooks and then two top metal hooks you're going to take the switch line up the two bottom metal hooks with these two little holes down here and then you're just going to press down on the top and that allows it to go back into place and then putting the key cap back on you're going to slide the top of it on first like this then press down like that and it should snap on and everything works good to go now we're going to look at the return key switch and I'm gonna to try to remove it by doing the same thing. I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure on the scissor towards the screen while I'm lifting to get those front two hooks off and then I'm just going to lift it off of the back hooks like that. And for demonstrational purposes on this key, let's say we accidentally separated the two parts and I'm going to show you how to orient them to get them back together. It is tedious, it's a pain, and yes, you can do it wrong. Let's take the outer part of the switch and you're going to look for this ridge right here. And you want that ridge facing down, just like that. This bottom part of the switch is going to go towards the trackpad and this is the part that's going to go towards the screen. Now we're going to take the inner part of the switch. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna pick it up, look for a ridge. As you can see, it's right here meaning that that is going to be the face down part of the key. And then we're going to want to orient it to the correct position, which is the flat part of this circle going towards the screen. And then the round part of the circle going towards the trackpad, which is back here when we're going to put the switch back onto the key. Now here comes the tricky part. You're going to have to put in this part right here into a little socket right there 
if you didn't break any of these off. If you broke them off already when you were trying to repair your key, then you're gonna have to go on eBay or Amazon, get a new switch, and then come back to this video. As I said before, let's grab this. We're gonna place it inside, and we're just going to attach one side in, just like that. So this is the trick right here. You wanna put some pressure some stopping pressure on this side of the key that we already attached the little hinge to. And then you're going to take a tool like this and press inwards. It's going to bend the inside of the key a little bit. It's gonna press down and it's going to go back into that little socket, the completing to the switch to where it was before it got separated. Now let's put this back into the keyboard. The same orientation as before. The flat part of the circle goes towards the screen. The round part of the circle goes towards the trackpad. The ridge part goes towards the base of the computer to the keyboard facing down. You're going to want to set it in to the bottom two hooks first, which is right here and right here. And then you're just going to press down on those tops and it's going to hook those two in right there and now you are good to go. And the key cap can be reinstalled. This one's more of a pain because it has this support bar on it, but I recommend that you put the support bar back on the key first, pull it down like that, find the holes that it goes into. You can kind of hook one in and then pull the other one around and then try to press the key down. And I, you can see that the key won't go down. We're gonna go look back at the holes. There's actually two holes. I did this for demonstration. There's two holes. There's a top hole and then there's a bottom hole. I'm going to now go to the bottom hole, gently put them in, and then slide the top of the key down first and then press down and click in the bottom of the key and you can see it works great. Let me know if this video helped fix your MacBook Pro or your MacBook Air keyboard. If you haven't already seen the video, how to remove the keys and how to clean it and go through very detailed how to do that, check out that video. Like I said before, it's just about fixing and orienting the switches. I really, really hope this helped get a god. I told you I'd make a video, here it is. And I thank everybody for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have any other questions or maybe videos you wanna see made, put them in the comment section and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.